Over the past few years, At Games has stepped it up and been releasing a lot of fairly cool products in their Legends line of devices, their Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine, the Gamer Mini, Gamer Pro, the Legends Pinball Machine, the Legends Mini, the Core Unit, this little thing, this came with the, uh, you could buy it by itself or as like little bundles and they come with the Gamer Mini little arcade stick and the Gamer Pro arcade stick as well. These all get you in like to the same ecosystem. The main difference that I always thought with them was like the included games. Some came with more, some came with less. There were some edits over time, that kind of thing. And a while back I saw this Legends Core Max on their website and I, I really had some question concerning it. And out of nowhere, out of the blue, At Games sent me one for review. That kind of rhymes, what? And I wanted to check this thing out with you guys today. So I've had this in my possession for a little while. I've never plugged it in because I was curious. I, I wanted to know from those guys, like, hey, I, I see on the website, it says this thing is more powerful than this thing, but they don't list specifications. So how do I know this is more powerful? It's bigger. Is bigger more powerful? Maybe. But, you know, eventually I got some answers, but fairly vague, because yeah, they don't list specifications. So from what I understand, the Legends Ultimate, the Mini, the Pro, all that stuff, uses the Rockchip 3328. And then the Legends Pinball uses the Rockchip 3399. And it's a bit more powerful. You can play the pinball games, 1080p, 60 frames per second, that kind of thing. And this big boy right here is supposed to be the same chipset as the pinball machine. So the Rock Chip 3399. So that's cool. But that 100 included games, they're the same games that come on everything else. My question is like, how do I demonstrate that this is more powerful? And I think some of these products, while I do enjoy them, I think the line of devices is getting a little stale in that, you know, you get something more powerful. It doesn't come with games that require that power. So we'll have to test this thing out. I was told it's gonna be really based up to the community to get things running on this. Uh, and I was told, like, you know, it should be able to play up the PlayStation 1 fairly well, but I, I think that's a little odd because the original Legends Arcade machine could play PlayStation 1 on certain firmware, the version 1 machine before at games lock down the root access and people couldn't really mess with it. So only some people with you know certain firmware on the original machine, they could play Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, a lot of different systems. And I think this, the chipset, is fairly equivalent to like a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, so I, I could imagine we should be able to see a lot more with this over time as far as more demanding games. But also in order to do that, the way At Games has these systems set up, you have to be online to use CoinOpsX, the add-on X, all that kind of stuff. And I know some people really don't like that, but that's just the way their devices are set up. But I wanna go ahead and get this thing plugged in for the first time and test it out. Maybe it's a little more snappy. Maybe it's a little cooler. We'll go ahead and uh, you know pop in a CoinOps X build in it as well. And just see what to do. It's bigger, but it also doesn't like, I wish it would have had an extra USB, but looking at this, it does not have any additional ports. That would have been a good thing, I think, if they would have added an additional USB port. Um, that way you don't have to use like a hub or whatever. But yeah, it's essentially the same setup. Um, and that's that. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Comes with power adapter, HDMI, and a little instruction manual poster. Maybe I'll get this thing framed, post it up on my wall or something. I, I, I don't know. But let's see what to do. Let's see what to do. Let's plug this thing in. Okay, so here we go. I got the Core Max booted up, which just entails plugging in the power. There is no power switch. I've signed in. I've downloaded the pinball game packs that I already have access to as I have them on my other devices. So yeah, we have the same you know list of games that are included on all the other devices or you know variation of that list because everything kind of there's some variation, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean there's some cool stuff here. Don't get it twisted. A lot of these games I really like. Some people don't think this list is that great, but I, I think it's okay. But one of the biggest appeals was hey adding games to it, right? And that's one thing you can do with CoinOps X. I've done a whole video talking about that, getting a build set up and all that good stuff. 
But yeah, these are all the games. Now I think it's going to go into the list of my pinball games that I downloaded. These do not come pre-installed. You have to pay for these um, if you've already paid for them on another device and had it linked to your arcade net or your Legends ID, then you can download them on other devices as well. As long as you stay online type of thing, uh, you can download this stuff. So there's that. So arcade net, I'm not signing up for arcade net. I don't personally see the value in that, but some people may. You get to play games online. The service does work fairly well. Uh, lobby, where you can go in there and set up multiplayer games, join lobbies, uh, interesting stuff. And then we have our add-on X. BYOG, which you have to purchase time for. Not bothering with that either. You have local streaming if you want to use that. We've demonstrated a lot of these things in the past. And then the App Store X, where you can go ahead and download additional stuff like CoinOps X. And Pixelcade X, if you have the like BitPixel and whatnot. As you see, like CoinOps X, it has that five next to it. That means we could boot this thing up five times before having to connect online again. So it's kind of a weird little system that I personally don't like and a lot of people don't like, but that's just the way they've done it. I don't know if that'll ever change. But in our settings, we have all the basic stuff. The one thing that I want to point out, like this is like a pre like public unit, so there's like no firmware update for it so it shows i'm on like version 10.990 a5 or something there's no uh update and it goes on saying hey like they do one update a month throughout all the arcade devices the legends devices um they used to do it like once a week and it would they would like break things doing these updates so now they just do them once a month i would still before like if everything works for you on one of these devices don't update until after a period of time and you you know kind of get the vibe on other people testing it out first, making sure things aren't broken. So, because yeah, I've, I've had it happen and some people have as well and it can be a pain in the ass. So with pinball here, we can go into portrait mode. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that real quick and check out pinball. So there, as you see, booting up, now the orientation is different. If you have a monitor that you put into vertical mode, you can play it that way, which is uh, pretty cool with these devices. And, and, and there I go, my account's been logged out. I'm hardwired in, this keeps happening. I, I don't know what's up with that, but I, my account gets logged out and then it gets re-logged in. I, I don't understand what the deal with that is. Like I said, I'm hardwired, I'm not even through Wi-Fi, as you can see in the uh, corner there. So I'm, I'm not sure what's up with that. So there we go, a couple little pinball games played real quick. Looks really good, playing very smooth. Uh, input latency feels fine to me. I am using the At Games controller uh, that I recently reviewed. Uh, just, it was simple to sync it up so I could have a wireless controller. But yeah, pinball's looking fine here. Let's go ahead and check out some uh, some other gameplay, some coin ops X maybe. So here we go, we're in CoinOps X. I'll leave you guys with a little bit of footage messing around with this, as I think that's one of the main values behind the Legends devices is adding you know, other games to it because, yeah, I mean, maybe some people don't like the games that are built in. I personally like quite a few of them, as I've said previously. But yeah, I mean, with my time with the Core Max, I really haven't had too much of an issue other than that internet dropping out and signing me out thing that constantly happens. Even though I'm hardwired in, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's because I'm on an, on an early firmware. Maybe when it goes public, that'll be resolved. As I haven't normally had that issue with the other devices, but it happened while recording, so I had to point that out because it kept happening. A little annoying, but whatever. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. Just didn't make sense. But yeah, so far the experience with the Core Max is pretty much the same as the experience I've had with all the other Legends devices. I'm not really seeing anything crazy here. I mean... It plays just the same. I mean, yeah, you got that 1080p 60 FPS uh, for pinball, which is cool. That's cool if you want to set up your own little digital pinball setup with this instead of buying the At Games Legends pinball. That might be some value to some people there. Because essentially you'll have the same device, but you'll be able to 
and build it yourself, maybe for cheaper. I don't know. But I do wish my main criticism with this device is that, yeah, it ships with the 100 same old, same old games, and it doesn't come with anything that highlights the additional power of the device. And I think that's a missed opportunity. As I've said, it's getting a little stale with these devices as they all kind of hang on what the public and the community does with it. Like, you don't buy these necessarily for the built-in games. You buy it to, you know, add stuff to it or to play pinball. So uh, you really got to know what you're getting yourself into. I just wish they would have included stuff on it that highlighted that, yes, this is a more powerful system than some of their other devices they have out there. And I kind of wish they would have added an extra USB port on the device instead of having to use a dongle action. You know what I'm saying? But if you're interested in this thing or any of the other Legends devices, you if you want to get into the ecosystem, you really can't go wrong with anywhere in the your budget. You know, a little bit of money to a lot of money to spend, you'll find something that, you know, gets you in it. So they've got all bases covered there. Really do appreciate every single one of you guys watching, hanging out with me. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.